Doubling us to the Elsney Apostles, the great ones done who were well. Shall one to the hundred and forty four thousand, the one third remnant, man, woman, and children, another hopeful elect, shall one. This is Brother Gabar Yash coming back at you in a quick lesson. Through the spirit of power, how about some y'all shy prayers? Let's be able to find it straight to the point. Okay? So, with all the uh, protests that's been going on, and you know, you see this stuff, which is all orchestrated, man. It's all, you know, order out of chaos man all right those protests are basically you know staged man so nevertheless as you can see you know states are starting to do you know adopt you know the same things that are uh you know if you criticize israel you know those uh small hats all right you could be arrested in jail so it's starting to happen man and we're at the end of uh esau's rulership man we're currently at the end. Okay, so this one, the People's Voice TV, and it says, Texas to start arresting Americans who criticize Israel. So if you have something to say about the small hats, if you bring out the truth, you could be arrested. And that's going to happen in all 50 states, man. Okay, so it's really a, bit of, a little bit of this. It says, Texas, uh, Texas Gov Governor Greg Adams Abbott has threatened to have Americans who speak out against Israel arrested and thrown in jail. <clears throat> According to Governor Abbott, people who criticize Israel are guilty of hate speech and belongs in jail. <laughs> oh boy. On X, which is Twitter by the way, Abbott slammed protesters at the University of Texas at Austin who were who are protesting the slander of innocent Palestinians by Israel's defense force. Arrest has been made right now and will continue until the crowd disperse, Abbott said. These protesters belong in jail. Anti-Semitism <coughs> excuse me, will not be tolerated in Texas. Period. Students, <clears throat> excuse me, students joining in hate field anti, you know, you see the word, you know, anti sim protests at any public college or university in Texas should be expelled. Okay, so basically, you know, if you have something to say about these small hats, man, you don't like their what they're doing in their agenda. Yeah, that's what they want to do, man. These are the times we coming into, man. Okay, that's the Texas alone. Okay, it's going to be happening in all 50 states. Okay, he says a resident is rolling the uh, X with tweet. He said, All right, that's Twitter, formerly known as Twitter. Okay, he said, Arrest has been made right now and will continue to the crowd disperse. These protests belong in jail. Anti Semitism will not be tolerated in Texas, period. Well, basically the same thing I just read. And these protests are going on and basically throughout all America, man. In most states, okay? Certain states is going on in. Not all, you know, not all 50 states, man. But nevertheless, people are waking up to what's going on. And people are not buying into the BS. And really, these are all stage protests, man. Okay? Orchestrated. Okay, and this is order out of chaos, man. As you can see, they're causing the chaos so they can bring forth the order. Okay, he says, believe it or not, the Austin Police Department, which lo local, local funded, defunded in parts back in 2020, has closed ties to Israel. The department collaborate with an Israel lobbying group called ADL and trains alongside Israeli occupation force on how to engage in counterterrorism. <clears throat> what this means in layman's turn is that the help of Israel and its police state protocols for handling free speech, which they're about to get rid of, Austin police have learned how to sidestep the First Amendment, 
Wow, look at that. <laughs> and dub everyone who exercised free speech of which, pol which politicians disprove as terrorists. See what I mean? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Ain't that something? Let's get something. Let's get, let's get a scripture, man. Got to get a scripture on this one. Unrighteous decrees. Wow. So they bypassing your First Amendment rights, man. <laughs> wow. Ain't that something? <laughs> Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay. So unrighteous decrees. Okay. Framing mischief by law. Okay. Bypassing the U.S. Constitution. See? And we told you, you Americans don't have freedom of speech, man. You never did, to be honest with you. Okay? And really, they're about to get rid of it. They're about to get rid of freedom of speech. Okay? Anything you say, you know, can be deemed as t hate speech. You know, you can be deemed as a terrorist. Okay? So, basically, they're about to clamp down on you speaking the truth. Basically, that's what it is. Okay? Get another one. Let's go to Galatians 4, 16. I said Galatians 4, 16. Snuck, you hit the wrong thing. Galatians 4, 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yeah. Okay? We're enemies. Okay? Especially the men of the Lord, man. <clears throat> We're enemies to this, uh, you know, to these devils, man, because why? We're revealing them. They're being revealed in these days, man. Okay, the, you know, the wicked is being revealed. Let's get that. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh shall, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Okay? And how this devil being exposed? Through the mouthpiece of the Lord, and how about you all which is the men of the Lord, the prophets, okay? And that's why these devils, they want to get rid of free speech, okay? Let's get another one. We're going to go back to the article and read some more. <clears throat> Isaiah 13 and verse 2. Lift ye up a banner upon the high wall. It's not, you can read that again. Get your tongue twisted. Isaiah 13 verse 2. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that it may go into the gates of the nobles. So this truth has gone into the gates of the nobles, man. This truth is devouring these devils. Let's get that scripture. Uh, Jeremiah 5 and 14. Let's get it. Jeremiah 5 and 14. Therefore, wherefore thus said the Lord, how about she all shy power of hosts? Because ye speak this word, this truth. Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people wood, and it shall devour them. These devils are getting devoured by this word. Truth is springing forth throughout the four corners of the earth. That's why they want to put a stop to you speaking against those, those small hats, man. Because those small hats are being revealed. Let's get this. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Verse 28, as for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. The truth is being declared, man. Corruption, deceit, the lies are being put out, man. People are no longer buying into the BS. People are waking up to who's really in charge, man. Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? And who's in charge, man? Esau, even so-called white man. Really am let, man. Okay? Let's go back. And now they're trampling in on your so-called freedom of speech, man. <laughs> to defend these people. Why do you need, you know, laws to protect you if you if you're the look, if you're the real people of the Lord, man. Okay, those small hats, those you know, Amalek, all right, the J double O's, okay. If they're the real people, why do you need laws to protect you? Why do you have to come up with, you know, the anti-sim word, okay? When you're being called out. Why do you need laws to protect you if, you, so, if you're the real? Come on, man. <laughs> Let me get this scripture. I'm going to come back. 
Let's get this scripture. <laughs> yeah. That goes to show you that these are not the real people, man. Let's get this. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 29. Happy thou art, O... It's not you. Happy thou... Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord and how about Shion Shai, the shield of thy help, who is the sword of thy excellency, and thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Okay? The heaven is revealing his iniquity, and the earth is rising up against these devils, man. Okay? They're being found out to be liars. Okay? Yeah. Let's go back. See, let's read a little bit more. It says, This is how law enforcement in Texas is now treating anyone who speaks out against Israel's genocide in Gaza by assaulting and arresting them to Im intimidate and bring about silence. That's exactly what they're doing, man. Okay, anyone who speaks the truth, yeah, about what's going on. Yeah, that's what's going on, man. Let's see. Mm. Mm, that's pretty much it for the article. Let's see. Yeah, let's read down here, and then I'm going to get about a couple more scriptures, and I'm going to close this thing out. It says, now you know why I will never vote again. <laughs> Another rope. Somehow... <coughs> Excuse me, so lucky. We have in this nation an autocratic government that not only supports genocide but will drain the treasure to treasury to arm and equip the war crimes criminals conducting it. This is one establishment party with two names who only support the globalists that own then own them that owns them yeah okay yeah those two political party systems man let's get that let's get that scripture revelation 11 no revelation 13 <clears throat> excuse me revelation 13 and 11 watch this <clears throat> excuse me revelation 13 and 11 and i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Yeah, and those two horns represents the political party systems, man. You, okay, you Democrats and you Republicans. Okay, two same wings on the same hateful bird, man. Okay, and they spake like a dragon, draconian. And you go into that word dragon, it's Greek word draco. Okay, they bring in for draconian measures, man. So you won't be able to speak out. Against what's going on. You won't be able to speak out against those small hats over there, man. And this is going to lead to the famine of the word. Let's get, hold on, let me go back to Revelation. Let's read verse, Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. Then we're going to, hey, you know, get the famine of the word. Because the famine of the word is drawing near, man. Okay? Videos are constantly getting taken down. You know, these devils are now taking down videos. You no know, brothers put up. Lessons, channels, gonna be taken down. Hey, we're close to the famine of the word, man. Okay? <clears throat> Let's get this. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard another, and sorry, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now it's called salvation in the strength, in the strength in the kingdom of our power, and the power of his Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which is which accused them before our power day and night. And these devils are constantly accusing the Hebrew Israelites. And really, this is targeted to the men of the Lord, man. Because who out there on the highways and byways, week in and week out, speaking out against, you know, those wicked, you know, those small hats, man. Okay? We are. The men of the Lord are, man. Calling out the wickedness. Calling out Esau, even the so called white man. Okay? Which is the head, okay? The head tribe is Amalek, man. The head tribe of Esau. Amalek, who is in charge, rules over the whole damn world, man. Okay? Creating all kinds of wicked policies and, and whatnot, man. Okay? <clears throat> like they, there's a saying, if you want to know who you can't talk about, look who's in charge, man. Okay? 
people you can't talk about are the ones who are in charge. Point blank, period. Okay? Verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. So we, the men of the Lord, don't love our lives to the death, man. We hate this place. We ready for this place to been over since yesterday, man. Okay? Verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know that he had but a short time. Pretty soon we ain't gonna be able to speak out, gonna be able to speak out against these devils, man. Okay? They're trying to put a stop to it. And this is all gonna lead to what? <clears throat> Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the day is come, said the Lord Yahabashian Shai Power, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the glory. How about me outside? So the famine of the word is drawing near. Okay. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the glory. How about me outside? Shall not find it. You won't be able to find this word pretty soon, man. Okay. Let's go to Red back to Revelation 2 and 10. Because this is what's about to take place, man. And the men of the Lord are going to get caught up in this, man. These devils, hey, these devils going to come down with great rap because they know they got a short time. Okay? A great insurrection up on those that fear the Lord. How about you, you know, shy? Second, is the 16th chapter, verses 69 through 73. You're going to know who the Lord's chosen is, man. Okay? This is Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay? So these red devils are now want to throw people in jail and lock people up for speaking out against those small hats, man. Ain't that something? But hey. That's the times we're in. That's, pro that's prophecy, man. Prophecy got to be fulfilled. So, hey, got to happen. But see, the Lord's hopeful net going to be delivered out of that, man. Okay? <clears throat> Let's get another scripture and I'm going to close it out. Because, hey, <laughs> you those they, they, they. <laughs> hey, you getting, hey, look. You should know, man. And that guy, all right, Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott, he's a effing Republican, man. So what that shows you, man, okay? None of these people are for you, man. These politicians are not for y'all, man. These politicians are not for you people in Babylon, the great America, okay? They're not for you people, okay? Never was. They're doing the bidding of the elites, man. And who are the elites? The, the 13 global banking families, man. Which is Amalek, by the way. Small hats. Come on. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, shall lift up a standard against him. So the Lord's going to make a way for his elect to escape these things that's coming down the pipeline. Okay? So with that, <clears throat> I pray this quick lesson was edifying and straight to the point. We're in some serious times, man. And oh, before I go, all right, I ask you all to pray for the uh the brother, Zadok Rum, okay? Keep him in your thoughts and prayers, man, okay? Him and his family, man, all right? So hey, the August brothers, we got to pray for each other, man, okay? Check on brothers, man, and make sure brothers are all right, man, okay? So hey. Because we're in some serious times, man. Because, hey, when all hell breaks loose and when this society collapses, we ain't going to be able to do that. When these, when the power goes out, when the phone lines go down and all that, man, we ain't going to be able to do that. So right now, hey, check on brothers, you know, every now and then. Hey, check on brothers, call brothers, and see how they're doing, man. Okay? All right? Keep them in your, keep the brothers and, all right, the few sisters in your thoughts and prayers too, man. Okay? So, hey. But nevertheless, all right. So, with that, I pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go see how about you, Yom Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. It's on to the next one. Shalom. 
Kwame Yashiran and Wild Papa Ball Sean Wong.